Okay. Hi guys. Okay. So Miss Jamie is really excited because last year when I did this video, I had to tell you all of the really awful ways that you got to do summer reading on the computer, which as we've learned over the last calendar year is no fun at all whatsoever. <laughs> but this year I get to tell you we're doing everything in person. There are also online options for those of you who either cannot make it or don't feel comfortable coming in. That's still entirely fine. Um, there are there are a few avenues for online stuff. Most of it is you have to at least drop your stuff off. Um, but curbside is still open and available. So like however you want to do it, it's totally fine by us. But we are very excited. Robin and I are very excited to do things um, in person. Everything will be done in the pavilion. So like no rain dates, no cancellations. Like it's if it rains, we're doing it. If it thunders, we are going to cancel. Think T-ball. Um, but I want to go ahead and I want to tell you give you a rundown of all this stuff and how we do it. This is usually the spiel I give you when you're here in the building and you sign up, but sometimes it's nice to be able to go back and listen again or, you know, and that's why I write everything down kind of obnoxiously because then you can go back and you can check it because I talk really fast and sometimes that's a bit of a like, oh my God, what did she say? So, so it's all here. I will tell you that registration will be online. All of it is online. Whether you register at home or here in the building, the form is online, which should hopefully alleviate some of the cumbersome paperwork and some of the like, oh my God, that took me so long. Why do I have to do this for six kids every year? Um, so like, I mean, you can do it at home and then just come in and pick up your stuff. So like, hopefully we're testing that out a little bit because last year it was a little easier to do online registration than we thought it was going to be. So we're kind of testing that out and hoping that it, you know, it'll work for us moving forward, even outside of weird COVID stuff. So the registration is online. It is on the children's program page of the website and it'll be emailed in the children's newsletter so that you have access to it. And like I said, you can either do that here at the library on any of our computers. We will probably first all of sign up week have at least the one in the children's department always open to that um, just to help Robin and I <laughs> make things a little easier. And then you'll get your sign up. You can come pack, pick up your sign up stuff. There's actually a little box on the form that says, I am here at the library and taking my stuff home now. Or another box that says, I am at home and need to come pick up my stuff. And then like, once I get your name on it and it is available at the like curbside pickup spot for stuff so that everybody on staff knows where to look for it, I will email you or call you or let you, we'll do something to let you know like, hey, your stuff is ready. Because if you just like show up without having that notification, we're all going to be like, I have no idea. Like, and this way we can keep track of who has gotten stuff and who hasn't gotten stuff. We just want to make sure like everybody gets, everybody gets their stuff once and that's it. Anyway, so once you sign up, you know, you get some good stuff from us. We give you awesome things. So you're going to get a tail. You can't really see it. You get a Tails and Tails browsing bag. It's been a couple years since we did bags. And I personally am a person who thinks you can never have too many bags. I have too many bags. And I still think you can't have too many bags. Um, but yeah, so everybody who signs up, every kid, gets this bag. And then all of the things that you need for summer reading are in the bag. Um... It's all packaged together very nice, neat, and tidy. I was really forceful with the teenagers this year on how to do it. You get a pencil, which is pretty fun and cute. It says Tails and Tails, and it's got the cute little rooster, which is really hard to see on a pencil, but it's got the cute little rooster. Um, and then, because we have so, so many donated coloring books, everybody gets a coloring book. And it's actually, we stashed all of your stuff in the coloring book just to make it easier to package. It, it, that's it. That's the only reason. Um, but everybody gets a coloring book. Um, and then all of your things do come packaged in the newsletter format that we are used to. Um, so I'm going to tuck your coloring book back in here just so that we don't lose it. And then maybe. Jeez, why can I not make this work? There we go. Okay. And then everything, like I said, everything you need is here in this packet. And if it isn't, we're going to find out right now, and I'm going to hunt down some teenagers who helped me do this. So anyway, the front includes the letter from Robin and I. The schedule, we're doing, um, in the teens, they picked, they really wanted to do, like, each week they focus on a different kind of animal. So, like, we do, we're doing amphibians one week, and we're doing mammals one week, and we're doing, but Robin and I thought for you guys, which is actually a little bit more fun, I'm really excited about how we're, we set it up, and the things that we have planned for story times and book and craft times and tween group. We're going to go continent by continent. That's actually why you can't really see around me, but that is why there are four carts in the office and an entire shelving unit full of books. <laughs> I'm trying to figure stuff out. Um, 
Because we're going to go, we're going to do North American animals, and then we're going to swing our way around the world to end at South American animals. It should be pretty fun. I am really excited. And then there is some important information down here because we are meet, registration is required for all story times, book and ta craft times, and tween groups. But our specials on Thursdays, so you don't have to register for those. You can just come and show up. Everything will be done outside in the pavilion, rain or shine. If it's thundering and lightning, we will cancel. Um, think T-ball. We're going to do it like the same way they do the things. Like, so rain, we can do it. Thunder, we can't. Um, the back highlights um, your requirements, what you have to do. Those of you who have done this with us before will not be surprised by the fact that you get a reading log and you keep track of your books on the reading log. Um, it's 15 picture books or five chapter books or a combination of the two, whichever one works for you. And you can read them yourselves. You can read them together. You can, however it is that you, at your particular age group, want to do it. Um, and then, and then when you're done, we're going to, you're going to bring it all back to us. And we're going to give you a State Parks camping coupon, an Armstrong Air and Space Museum coupon, an Ohio Renaissance coupon, and a free book of your choice. Which is pretty exciting. We're also you're also getting a bookmark because Miss Jamie was like, "Oh my God, we have so many bookmarks!" So everybody gets a bookmark. Um, and then we're gonna add your name to the bucket for the big prizes. You have to do this. This has to be done, or you get no prizes. Everything else is additional for secondary prizes. I like to make that clear. Um, our prize drawing will be held on Friday, July sixteenth, just like we did it last year here at the library. We do it ourselves, and then we call everybody to come pick up their stuff. That worked out surprisingly well, and so that, I think, is how we're going to do it moving forward. We had actually pre-COVID planned to try that out last year anyway, because historically, even before Miss Jamie started here, it was done on, like, the big Thursday night thing, but that gets really drawn out and kind of annoying. And so we had decided we were going to try and see it, test it out this way. And it worked so well last year that we're going to just kind of swing into that. Hopefully, maybe forever. <laughs> um, this year, we've got some cool stuff. We've got games. We've got, um, there's at least one Lego kit, some other building things. Um, we've got Columbus Museum of Art Family Passes, Barnes & Noble gift cards, um, board games, bowling passes. We've got Roselawn mini golf tickets. We've got, there's... We've got a lot of stuff. There's seltzer pool passes. Um, I think I have to double check this. I am semi-confident that the Motorcycle Hall of Fame tickets went to you guys this year instead of teens. Um, so, I mean, it's just, we got some cool stuff. It's, it's definitely fun. Um, and then there is essay contest information here on the back, but I'm going to talk about that further into the packet of information. And then the inside lines up our activities. The story time is ages 2 to 5, Tuesday at 10.30 or Wednesdays at 3 o'clock. You have to be pre-registered for this. So there will be a registration at the desk that is separate from your summer reading registration. Like you signed up for summer reading, that does not mean you're registered for story time. You have to stop at the front desk and sign up for story time. Now, we are recommending that you do not automatically sign up for all seven of them at once, just because you never know what's gonna come up or like what weeks you're gonna be able to come and what weeks you're not. So like maybe do like two at a time. Like, you know, like I know I'm coming this week and next week, and then next week I'll sign up for whatever. Or I know I can't come next week, but I will the week after. So like kind of like, because we're, we're limiting it to 12 kids per story time. So, like, you just, like, we would kind of prefer it if we didn't take up spots without knowing for sure we were going to be there. Um, so we're going to do story time for ages 2 through 5, 10.30 on Tuesday morning, and 3 o'clock on Wednesday afternoon. Now, they will be the exact same thing, so you don't have to come to both. Come to whichever one fits your schedule. Um... And then book and craft time, which is first through third graders. And Robin kind of runs that one. She's pretty cool. <laughs> she does a good job. Um, that is Tuesday or Wednesday at 1 o'clock. It'll be 1 o'clock both days. Um, and the registration and registration is required for that in the same manner. And it, it is for story time. Then fourth through sixth graders are tween group. They, they, in the past couple of years, have gotten their own separate group, which is pretty cool. We get to do longer books and cooler activities with them, which is pretty fun. I'm excited. I've got some couple of my favorite books. I'm still tweaking some activity stuff, but it's a couple of my favorite books. 
um, and they will meet Tuesdays at 1 o'clock or Wednesdays at 1030. And you do have to be registered for that one as well. So, and all of that is in, it is listed, it's in this piece of paper. I'm, I'm reading it to you, so like it's all very explanatory here. Um, we did bring back bingo this year. Everybody really seems to like the bingo, so there is a bingo card in your thing. And when you do this, you will get a, you'll get a prize separate for doing this. It's a coloring book. Yeah, I know, another coloring book. Um, a, you get a Subway coupon. You get a, I think you get an Arby's coupon? No, I put Arby's. Yeah, you get an Arby's coupon. We got, we got a lot of Arby's coupons. Um, so you get, you get a, you get a Subway coupon. You get an Arby's coupon and you get a one coin ticket to the Richland Carousel Park. Um, usually they give us like paper coupons. This year we got co actual coins. So you get a coin. Um, so there's bingo. Um, we are going to do take and make activities for those people who cannot come to story time. So like if you can't, can't make it to story time, there will be a take and make activity and a video that accompanies it that you can pick up. We're still working out where I wanted to put, excuse me, I wanted to put them in the lobby. Um, but our lobby is a little full right now. And so I think we might have to do it front desk slash curbside like we have been doing all year. Um, but otherwise it's, it's, it should be okay. Um, we aren't doing storybook videos this summer because we are able to do story time in person. However, there will be videos for the crafts just because it's sometimes nice to have somebody explain it to you. Um, and then the rest of it is the newsletter explains all of our special programs. Some of our favorite people are coming back. Jeff Nicholas will be here. Dr. Insecta is coming. Um... Gorman Nature Center. It's been a couple years since we had them. They're going to come. Um, Armstrong Air and Space Museum is coming. They come usually for teens, but this year they're going to come for you guys. Um, the Ohio Bird Sanctuary is coming. Um, last year we tested out a new guy, Professor Tony. He does like juggling and magic and stuff, and he was really cool on Zoom. So I imagine that in person he's just going to be so much, so much cooler. Um, so he's coming. He's actually going to kick us off on the third. So. And all of that information is here and will be emailed to you. I'm going to email all the, like I did last year, you're going to get an email version of the newsletter and so that you have all of this stuff too. I like to be like a little bit annoying in the fact that you have all of the information. You have all of the information so many times that you kind of have to know what's going on. <laughs> Just because, I mean, I know how I am. If people tell me things, I don't always remember it, but if I have it and I can read it, I remember it better. Um... So I like being able to do that. You, in your packet, you also get some freebie fun stuff. You get a bookmark. You get a door hanger that says, Quiet, please, I'm in my reading space with this very really cute lion. You get a Kids Bowl free card from Dynasty Lanes. And there is an Arby's coupon for small curly fries, courtesy of our local Arby's. Um, let's see. What else do you have in your packet? Your packet is a little different than the teen one, and I just did their video. So let's see. You get a calendar for July. You get a calendar for June. Both of them do have information on the back about all of our programming and stuff. So no matter, no matter what you're looking at, all of the information you need is going to be there. You get a magic painting sheet because I love these. I think these are fun. And it just takes a little bit of water up here on the colors and it works like watercolor. You can paint the whole thing. It is, it is pretty cool. And then the last thing you get is your essay contest test paperwork. This is available to everyone kindergarten through 12th grade. We separate everybody into age brackets. It's kindergarten through 3rd, 4th through 6th, and then 7th through 12th. And then everybody has a slightly different amount of requirements um, based on your age and level of abil ability. This year's topic is to write a report on your favorite animal. Tell us what makes them the best animal, which is pretty cool. We are telling you that this year you have to have a list of sources. That is anything that you got your information from. A, an article on the web on the internet, a um, book, a magazine, anything like that. And depending on your age bracket, we have, we're going to tell you to list it differently. Like kindergarten through third, you just have to tell us the title and the author. Um, four through six, you have to give us the title, author, copyright date, and place of publication. These are things that when you are seventh through twelfth and have to use the MLA format, 
by practicing now when you're younger, it's going to be easier later when you're older. Miss Jamie's got a method. Anyway, so all of that is listed here. You can type it or you can hand write it. Um, we do request that the cover sheet, either this or one that is typed, is the only page that has your name on it and that every single one has a cover sheet because we do blind scoring where we cover up names and the only thing people see is like age and grade in the fall so that we can put them in age brackets. And then we we judge them based not on na not on the name of the person who wrote it, but on the actual writing. So um, and then this and everything, 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 last day to turn in anything at all is via online or in person, however you do it, is July 15th. It's the last Thursday. It's the Gorman Nature Center program. It is everything. Boom. Done. Whew. And then Robin and I take vacations. <laughs> I mean, not really. We do we do prizes and then we do so we do some cleaning up and like we tag team things so like I'm off when she's here and then she's off when I'm here. It's whew, we <laughs> that that very small window of time we have at the end of summer before school starts again. <laughs> whew, very nice. Anyway, all of your stuff is in here and I'm going to list all of this is gonna be on the website. All of this is gonna be in the emails that you get when you register. It's gonna be included in the children's newsletter and I am here like all the time and Robin is here a large portion of the time as well. So like if you have any questions at all, just like poke your head in and we will be happy to answer. We will be happy to help. Um, sign up week is May 24th through May 29th. Um, but you can sign up at any time throughout the summer. Um, we usually like about a week and a half to two weeks before the end. So like beginning of July we usually say you really don't have a lot of time to finish so that's usually we kind of cut people off a little bit around then but like up until like the week of basically we're like yeah you can do it go for it um we just try to get the bulk of people signing up all at once before we start programming kind of like shifting focus between signing up and programming <laughs> and so the sign up week will be the 24th through the 29th and then programming starts on June 1st because Memorial Day is the 31st and it kind of yeah, monkeys with the internal schedule I have in my head a little bit. But should be fun, should be great. We are really excited about this summer um, animals and animal stories. It's right up our alleys. We do this kind of stuff a lot anyway just because picture books have a lot of really good animal storytelling. And so we are really excited to be here and to have you here and hopefully... You will be super excited, too, to see us. Um, like I said, we'll be in the pavilion, and we registration will be at the front desk. Um, otherwise, I think I've told you everything. I think some of this I've told you twice now, and that's kind of annoying, I know. But sometimes it's good to have that repetition. It helps my brain, too. And so we will be seeing you, hopefully, a lot this summer. Otherwise, you know, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you soon. Bye!